so nitrogen metabolism so nitrogen metabolism uh, it is a process of uh, creating the amino acid we can say okay so these amino acid these are actually created in plants as well as, as in the animals but here we will be talking about the plants only okay for example the nitrogen is uh, basically found in the nucleoside phosphate and the amino acid that form the building blocks of the nucleic acid and the protein okay now only the element that is the oxygen is there carbon is there hydrogen is there so these are more abundant in the plant than the nitrogen okay these are more abundant than the nitrogen so most natural and the agriculture ecosystem they shows the dramatic gains in the productivity after the fertilization with the inorganic uh, nitrogen thus attesting uh, the importance of this element okay because the deficiency of the nitrogen can lead to the severe diseases in the plant so it shows that nitrogen is one of the essential element for the plant also and uh, uh, nitrogen metabolism basically it involves the following several processes such as the nitrogen fixation is involved in the nitrogen metabolism the nitrogen cycle is involved in the uh, nitrogen metabolism biosynthesis as well as the breakdown of the amino acid these all are basically involved in the uh, nitrogen metabolism so we know that nitrogen is one of the essential element of all the amino acid and it's also a component of the nucleic acid nucleic acid the same uh, component that form the dna of all the living things and nitrogen is one of the important component of the chlorophyll also which is a site for the carbohydrate formation means the photosynthesis occur so this is the nitrogen cycle we can see that nitrogen cycle uh, it can uh, occur through the uh, various atmosphere and it changes from the gaseous phases that is from the n2 phases to a reduced ion before being it is incorporated into the organic compound because we know the nitrogen is present in the gaseous form that is n2 but this form is not available readily available or it is used by the plant or the animal so it has to be first converted into the reduced form and what is the reduced form that is the nitrate part and that nitrate part can be then uh, it is then taken up by the animal or the plant then it is utilized by all the cells so this incorporation needs to be done into the organic compound in the living organism so these are some of the steps which are shown here in the nitrogen cycle that they have the atmospheric nitrogen cycle which uh, uh, actually comes down uh, and some of the nitrogen fixers are there which are free living some are the symbiotic uh, living and the mineralization that is the ammonification of take uh, the nitrogen take place where the ammonia is being formed and from ammonia the nitrite is being formed and uh, and then into the nitrate and then it is then consumed uh, by the uh, particular plants and the animals then also it will be uh, you know acted upon by the denitrifiers and some are leached or lost by the leaching processes and as well as they get in uh, mobilized by the bacteria and the fungi in this way uh, it enters into the dead organic matter so in this way the nitrogen cycle actually work and how many form we can see of this nitrogen like the n2 form is there the ammonia form is there nitrite form is there nitrate form is there so these are the different forms of the nitrogen we can see in the nitrogen cycle but this is stored if suppose ammonia getting is stored in the particular uh, the soil or the particular plant then it can be toxic or it could be tax, uh, toxic or we can say it is toxic for the plant so the stored ammonia as well as the nitrate these all are uh, you know very toxic for the plant so they needs to be the assimilated 
So this is how the stored ammonium and the nitrate can be toxic because we know that the plant used to or plant can store the high level of the nitrate or uh, they can translocate it from the tissue to the tissue without the uh, some uh, deleterious effect. However, even if the uh, livestock is there or some uh, human is there, if that uh, particular organism, livestock or the human if that consume the plant material that is high in the nitrate then they may suffer from the methemoglobinemia that is a disease in which the liver basically it reduces the nitrate to the nitrite okay so it reduces the nitrate to the nitrite which combines with the hemoglobin then it renders the hemoglobin to unable uh, or to uh, not to bind with the oxygen thus the humans and the animals they may convert the nitrate into the nitrosa uh, means which is a potent carcinogen okay even some of the uh, countries they limit uh, the nitrate content in the plant material which is actually sold for the human consumption. Now in contrast to the nitrate, the ammonium, the high level of the ammonium, they are also toxic to both the plants and the animals. The ammonia basically they dissipates the transmembrane protein gradient, uh, gradient that are required both for the photosynthesis purposes as well as for the respiratory purposes. Okay. So it disrupts this proton gradient. Uh, so we know that the proton gradient are well required for the photosynthesis and the respiration. In respiration, obviously, in the electron transport chain and for the sequestering of the metabolite in the vacuole. So, because of the high level of the ammonia are dangerous, the animals basically they have, uh, you know, developed a strong aversion to its smell, and the active uh, ingredient in smelling the salt uh, that is a medicinal vapor which is released under the nose to revive a person who has fainted is the ammonium carbonate okay ammonium carbonate only so plant used to assimilate the ammonium near the site of the uh, absorption or the generation and rapidly they store any excess in their vacuole thus avoiding